Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, host of Derm TV, creator and founder of Beauty RX Skincare, and today we're in my New York City office, and I'm going to tell you how to get rid of facial warts. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about facial warts. First of all, all warts, whether on your face or on your foot or any place else, they're all caused by the HPV virus. Now, you're accustomed to warts on your hands where they look, or on your fingers, where they look like little round things with little frongs or little sticks sticking up. That's part of the papillomas of human papilloma virus. But when you get warts on your face, they're flat warts. They're really very different. They are not raised very high. They're almost a little bit of the shape of my hand, meaning they have a very small thickness, but they're much larger in area than they have thickness. So it almost looks like these little stuck-on little buds on your skin. They can be anywhere from a 64th of an inch to um, a 16th of an inch, but usually they're very small. Now, if you want to try at-home remedies, Anything that helps to dissolve dead skin, anything that's keratolytic, or anything that's an exfoliant will help. So acne preparations that have 2% salicylic acid in them, well, that'll help. Um, most of the products that are used for plantar warts on your feet are based on salicylic acid. Um, but those would be much too strong to use on your delicate facial skin. Other chemical exfoliants like retinoids, Retin-A, Retinol, Tretinoin. These have all been used, but of course the retinoids are all by prescription. And retinol just isn't strong enough, the over-the-counter retinol. Well, next we have my favorite chemical exfoliant, which I think is the gold standard of chemical exfoliants, glycolic acid. And glycolic acid can be purchased over-the-counter, 8%, 10%, 12%. And you can try using that on the warts on a daily basis or twice a day. But when you get to the point where the warts just aren't going away because warts really don't play by the usual rules of engagement for an infection. When you get to the point where the warts aren't going away and you decide it's time to see your dermatologist, I, as a dermatologist, usually remove facial warts with an instrument called a curette, which is actually like a curved spoon. And you can see the curve here. And I'm just going to open this up for you. And give you an idea of what this curved spoon looks like. Now, this curette is much too large for facial warts, but I just took this one out to give you an example so you could actually see it. But the one that I actually use for facial warts is this size, and it actually is only about a millimeter and a half. And I use this as a spoon to sort of scoop them off the surface of the skin. Would that be painful? A little bit. So we use local anesthesia. Or we even have these topical anesthetics now, like Emla cream and other creams that you can put just on the surface of the skin without any injections, without any needles, and then you just have to, I just have to scoop these all off. Because these types of warts don't have roots, there usually is no mark when it heals, and there usually are no scars. And I'm uh, sorry to tell you that most of those home remedies for flat warts, and for that matter, for most other warts, don't work very well. So if you have flat warts on your face, make sure you see a dermatologist to get them removed before they spread, especially if you're a guy. Because guys, when they shave, they spread the warts all over the place with their razor, and that becomes a disaster. For women who don't shave, and I hope you don't. For women who don't shave, um, you can use the at-home remedies a little bit longer, but uh, guys, you really need to get them taken care of quickly. So if you have facial warts, you can try at-home remedies, but you're probably going to wind up seeing your dermatologist so go sooner than later before they spread. And that's the scoop on how to get rid of facial warts. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thanks for watching today.